Now, unified endpoint management is absolutely a reality, and what I want to do is very quickly show you a demonstration of this capability coming together. But the key proposition of what you're trying to get done here is lower cost of ownership in Windows 10. We want to lower that cost from $7,000, what it is typically today with a lot of servers and lots of other labor, down to something 15 to 13% lower by taking endpoint management, security, and, and lifecycle automation and pulling them together. So actually, let's, let's open up my Windows 10 um, um, you know, laptop, and you can see here very quickly, I've gotten um, an opening here for us to take Workspace ONE the exact same way in which uh, you op logged in before. This could be multi-factor authentication or a simple way in which you've logged in. Here I've got the same experience as you saw on the iPad or the Samsung tablet, Workspace ONE. And I'm now going to actually go in and open, open Office 365, take a particular Excel spreadsheet, okay, and try to do something malicious. I usually don't do this, but you know, let's just say that I was trying to do this, which is copy and paste our Q2 financials. And Pat and the legal team, before you freak out, it's not real data. But let's just say I was, able, I was trying to do this and paste that into Twitter, which is not a managed application. And here, and through capabilities called conditional access, we're able to secure that data so that as I try to copy and paste, it knows that that's not allowed. You see conditional access now being able to apply it to documents inside Office 365. But let's take that a step further. I'm actually going to pick up our DAS capability, desktop as a service, go back to, to Workspace ONE, launch a VDI session, and now I'm going to go back into a desktop that may be running Windows 10 or a different Windows 10 and open up a balanced scorecard. So here's a balanced scorecard, and this balanced scorecard is talking to four different parts of the data center, okay? maybe uh, four different quadrants. I'm actually going to go with NSX and build, take that conditional access to a whole new level. I'm going to turn off a particular segment of that data center to allow me to only see certain parts of data. So I go in there just like a light switch. I turn those off. I go back to the balance scorecard, refresh it, and I don't have data now visible for those because access is denied. I go back, and now maybe it's a person who is now inside the firewalls, or maybe it's Pat, the CEO, looking at this simple light switch back on in NSX. And now we've taken conditional access all the way into the data center by hooking into that micro-segmentation capabilities. That's the way, folks, that we are bringing this together in terms of unified endpoint management. We're releasing this now on a website, windowsuem.com, that all of you can get to uh, and be able to showcase.